The Brothers Grimm, The Twelve Princesses, retold by Oakley Graham. Can anyone help the king solve the mystery of where his daughters go to dance each night? In this spellbinding version of the classic Brothers Grimm tale, a secret magical kingdom filled with enchanted trees, handsome princes, music and dance is waiting to be discovered. But will the princess's secret also be revealed? Retold by Oakley Graham. Illustrated by Natalie Smiley. The Brothers Grimm. The Twelve Princesses. Retold by Oakley Graham. Illustrated by Natalie Smiley. There was once a king who had twelve beautiful daughters. They slept in twelve beds all in one room, and when they went to bed, the door was locked. However, every morning their shoes were full of holes from dancing all night. Nobody could find out how it happened, and the princesses refused to tell the king where they had been each night. The king did not like the princesses keeping secrets from him. So he made an announcement and promised that if anyone could find out where the princesses were at night, he would make them the richest person in the entire kingdom. If they tried and failed, they would be thrown into the castle dungeons. Soon, a brave knight arrived at the palace. When evening came, he was taken to the bedroom next to the princesses. The knight's plan was to stay awake all night and keep watch to see if he could discover their secret. But the knight soon fell asleep, and when he awoke in the morning the princess's shoes were full of holes from dancing all night. The king was angry that the knight had failed to find out the princess's secret, and the poor knight was thrown into the castle dungeon. After the knight, Many others tried to discover the princess's secret, but they all had the same luck and were also imprisoned. An old soldier heard about the king's promise. On his way to the palace he met an old woman who asked him where he was going. I am on my way to see the king to find out where the princesses go dancing at night, he said. Well, said the old woman, take care not to drink the wine which one of the princesses will bring to you, and as soon as she leaves, pretend to be fast asleep. Then she gave the old soldier a cloak and said, this cloak will make you invisible, and you'll be able to follow the princesses wherever they go. Filled with hope, the old soldier went to see the king, and when evening came, he was led to the bedroom next to the princesses. As the clock struck midnight, the eldest princess brought the old soldier a cup of wine, but he threw it away secretly, just as the old lady had told him to. Then he lay down and pretended to fall asleep. But as soon as the princess left the room, he put on his special cloak and followed her. In the princess's room, the twelve princesses took out all their fine clothes and dressed themselves ready for dancing. But the youngest princess was worried. I don't know why, but I feel very uneasy tonight, she said. You're always afraid, said the eldest princess. Have you forgotten how many people have already tried to find out our secret and failed? Then the eldest princess clapped her hands three times and a secret trapdoor flew open. Amazed, the old soldier watched the princesses going down through the trapdoor and then, as quick as a wink, he followed them. However, in the middle of the stairs he stepped on the dress of the youngest princess. Someone stepped on my dress, she screamed to her sisters. You silly thing, said the eldest, you must have caught it on a nail in the wall. At the bottom of the stairs there was a magical wood, and the trees had leaves that were silver and gold. The old soldier wanted some proof for the king, so he broke off a little golden branch. The youngest princess heard the branch snapping. Something is not right. Did you hear that noise? she whispered. But the eldest princess said, It is only our princes who are shouting with happiness at our approach. The princesses went on until they came to a lake where there were twelve little boats with twelve handsome princes in them. Each of the princesses climbed into a boat and the old soldier got into the same boat as the youngest. On the other side of the lake 
stood a magical castle. Inside the castle, the old soldier watched as the twelve princesses danced until the sun was about to rise and their shoes were worn out. Then the princess rode them back over the lake and the princesses promised to come again the next night. In the morning, the old soldier was taken to the king. The king asked him, Where do my daughters go to dance at night? The old soldier answered, With twelve princes in a magical castle. Then the old soldier told the king everything that had happened and showed him the golden branch which he had brought back with him as proof. The king called for the princesses and asked them if the old soldier was telling the truth. The princesses could not lie to the king now that their secret had been discovered, so they confessed. Just as the king had promised, the old soldier was rewarded with riches beyond his wildest dreams. The king was so happy he released all of the prisoners from the castle dungeons too. And as for the magic castle, sadly the spell was broken and the twelve princesses never saw or danced with their princes again. The end.